In this video, we're going to look at what is the fate of the end product of glycolysis reaction, that means the pyruvate. Now, pyruvate can be channeled into Krebs cycle by producing acetyl-CoA and thereby citric acid and all the intermediates of the Krebs cycle. Eventually, it can go to like the electron transport chain, right? And generate ATP. So this whole axis is only valid when oxygen is present. Because the terminal oxygen, the terminal electron acceptor here is the oxygen, the molecular oxygen. Ultimately, the oxygen accepts the electron and forms the water. And this electron relay is coupled with proton transport and the proton gradient is utilized to generate ATP. That is one aspect of or one fate of pyruvate when oxygen is present. But this video is focused on what is the alternative fate of the pyruvate when oxygen is absent. In absence of oxygen or in anaerobic situation, fermentation takes place. Fermentation ultimately leads to production of ethanol or lactic acid. In this video, we are going to see how lactic acid is produced. Now, from pyruvate, the enzyme lactate dehydrogenase converts pyruvate to lactic acid or lactate. And in this process, NADH is utilized and NAD is produced, right? Now, NADH provides the hydrogen or provides the reduction equivalent for pyruvate reduction into lactase, pyruvate reduction into lactate. Now, the NAD which is produced in this reaction is actually fueling the glycolysis pathway. Because in anaerobic situation, you can imagine the Krebs cycle, the electron transport chain would be off, right? In this situation, if you need energy, you need to fuel glyco glycolysis. But if the NAD is not replenished after, after several rounds, then glycolysis would also stop. Then where, where the cell would find energy? That is why the fermentation process is reinforcing the NAD levels and thereby fueling glycolysis and producing energy via glycolytic pathway. The overall equilibrium of this reaction is strongly favorable for lactate formation and that is understood by the negative delta G of minus 25.1 kilojoule per mole. Now imagine a situation of intense workout. In your muscle, all the glucose need to produce energy but in very short time when you need uh, this kind this amount of energy or this amount of intense workout is happening then your blood is not able to supply your muscle with enough amount of oxygen in that situation a anaerobic situ anaerobic condition is evoked or let's say you are sprinting so initially glycolysis would produce the energy but after a point of time the blood supply is not enough to give enough oxygen to your muscles. But how would you run then? So in that situation, we have to understand Cori cycle. So glucose ultimately gets into pyruvate and produce energy initially in the beginning of the sprint or intense exercise. But eventually that pyruvate is now converted into lactate and that lactate replenishes the NAD such that the glycolytic pathway can at least occur in the muscle and can provide the muscle with enough amount of ATP. But what is the fate of lactate? Lactate is building up in the muscle. So how lactate is metabolized? Lactate is actually secreted into the bloodstream and moved to the liver. From liver, lactate is reverse converted to pyruvate and that pyruvate can be getting converted into glucose by other mechanisms. And that glucose can eventually fuel the muscle again and thereby reinforcing the whole glycolytic mechanism. And this is known as Cori cycle, named after its discoverer. So now we understand in anaerobic situation how lactate metabolism take place and how fermentation produce lactate in one side. In other side, it can also produce ethanol. And that is very important for these food industry and everything. But in this situation, we understood that for intense workout, anaerobic situation is also created in our muscles and how our glycolytic pathway is still running and how the NAD is replenished. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, give it a quick thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.